Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I hope we're all still in high spirits celebrating Sunday's fantastic win um, because I know one side isn't taking it all too well. Christ, have you seen it yet? Brother Walfred has apparently janked the Ripper. I shit you not. Someone has conspired that Brother Walfred is genuinely Jack the Ripper. You could sit me in a room with pen and paper for 10, 20, 30 years and I would not come up with a story as good as that one, but ho-hum. Um, we move on, Celtic move on, some exciting news dropping this morning. We're in for an exciting few weeks and months as it's confirmed that we're off to the land of the rising sun. Welcome to Japan, folks. The local time is tomorrow. Welcome back. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. It would be much appreciated. Back into the swing of things now as we head towards the end of the season. Of course, we've only got those split fixtures left. We've got a Scottish Cup final now and then after that, it's into the summer break and uh, one that will see us head over to Japan. Yes, it was confirmed this morning by the club that Celtic will be heading on a tour of not just Japan, but South Korea as well. Uh, this summer, which is one that's very exciting for all of our Japanese and South Korean players. Very exciting for our Japanese and South Korean fans. Uh, but just very exciting um, for everyone involved with Celtic in general. Something a little bit different. Uh, something to spice it up a little bit. Uh, and it kind of adds some flavour to what's usually quite a bog-standard and boring summer break. So Celtic released this statement on the club website this morning saying we are delighted to announce that Celtic will be visiting Japan this summer for a fantastic pre-season tour. Following an initial European training camp, the team will take part in a week-long visit to Japan with the exciting, exciting details to be officially announced in the coming days. That was then followed up by another announcement about an hour or so later where they had this brilliant wee video of O sitting outside the manager's office and deciding he was going to sweet talk him into a diversion past South Korea, which means we are also adding in a South Korean leg to the journey as well. So very exciting for all of our new Japan new and old um, Japanese Celtic fans, South Korean Celtic fans who will have the chance to 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 go and watch the side play uh, very close to them. As we know, not easy to get over to Glasgow from the opposite side of the world, but they'll, they'll get a chance to be watching them on the front doorstep this summer in some friendly matches as we prepare for the 23-24 campaign. Of course, this was rumoured for quite a while now, we, we basically knew this was going to happen, it's been in the, the, the talks uh, and the tabloids anyway since, you know, way back when the Sydney Super Cup was happening uh, in November time during the World Cup, so we knew this was going to come, it was just a matter of when and where, uh, and we we're waiting for all of that news, but it is officially confirmed now, and I, I'm very happy about it, you know, I, I like the Sydney Super Cup, granted, yeah, it's not like I'm going to be at the games, but it's it's just better for the team to go out there and and expand the potential market of Celtic fans, I know for a, from a business point of view, a lot of us, including myself, aren't really that bothered in how many supporters we pick up around the world and, you know, it's our team and, and we want it to, to be our team. But, you know, all these great Japanese players who've came to us in the last few years comes with the benefits of of expanding our, our fan scape, you could say. So, it's fantastic. And obviously, over the past two years since Ange Postecoglou has been here at Celtic, I, I know firsthand on this channel... I've picked up some, some Japanese fans, some Australian fans, lately some South Korean fans as well, who have started watching the channel and started watching Celtic, and I absolutely love that. I think it's great, as we always say at Celtic Park, a club open to all, um, and now it's a chance for all of these fans from the world over and from over the, that side of the planet to go and watch us um, live in the flesh. Ange got his chance to comment on the tour, obviously, uh, big for him getting to go back to the country where he was managing before he came to Celtic. He said that we are really looking forward to our summer tour to Japan and I'm sure it will be hugely successful for the club and excellent preparation for next season. Clearly, Celtic has a real long-standing connection with Japan through previous visits and players such as Shinsuke Nakamura and, of course, now through our current squad members. So it will be great to visit and really bring this relationship 
to life so yeah fantastic stuff of course we've visited japan in the past but it's been a long long time 2006 i believe was the last time that we visited japan so it's the best part of 20 years believe it or not yeah it's been nearly 20 years since 2006 it's scary isn't it um but the best part of 20 years since we've visited um and it'll be good to go back over and and of course dyson maida kyogo um, and the rest of the lads, you know, they all deserve a chance to go and, and go and visit home. And um, this is a good a good opportunity for them to do so and get some friends and family along to see them live. So some smaller details and talking points from this tour that, you know, I wasn't really going to touch on, but we'll, we'll quickly do so. We're still awaiting the, the fine details, who will be playing, what cities will be playing in, stadiums, etc, etc, dates. We're still waiting all of, all of that. They said that will be announced in the coming days. When it was reported in the tabloid, the talk was that we'd be playing the likes of Yokohama F. Marinos, Ange's old team, of course. Manchester City, PSG, Bayern Munich were also teams who were linked with uh, taking part in whatever sort of competition or camp that is set up. We'll wait and see if that seems to be the case. So it would be great if all these big sides go over. But, you know, overall, we are there and, and we are getting the chance to to take up on this great opportunity, which is big for another reason that we'll talk about. I don't know how much money that Celtic will see from the, the, the kind of revenue made on this competition or the gate receipts from the games itself, but right now we're in a position where we are better than Rangers in every sense of the word, every aspect of football and business Celtic Trump. There's not one department across anything that Rangers are better than at Celtic right now and the chance for us to go over to Japan and South Korea now and sell thousands of shirts, thousands of uh, pieces of merchandise, whether it be hats, scarves, uh, match programs, whatever um, and for the chance, to, to, uh, for chance for us to attract even more fans who might not support Celtic at this moment in time is something that Rangers aren't doing and once again these are small things but they go a long way um, and, and, and Celtic right now are the biggest club in Scotland. They are very, very shortly going to be the most successful club in Scotland if we're going off the, the numbers that get thrown about normally. Um, so, you know, a chance for us to, to flex even further. Listen, they might pretend they don't care, but this stuff hurts. So that's that. That's the, the big news that broke this morning in relation to our tour when there's more details i'll be sure to let you know sadly before anybody asks i won't be there <laughs> i cannot afford to jet off to japan or south korea this summer as much as i would love to i'm sadly going elsewhere um and, and my money is going to be going to other places at this moment in time so hopefully another time in the future but to all the japanese and south korean fans who watch the videos um yeah excited for you guys Vasilis Barkas. You know I love talking about Barky Boy on the channel. I was the one that was driving the Barkas bus right up the Celtic Way in the summer of 2021. And boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Sorry, it was actually the summer of 2020. I've messed that one up there. Anyway, he could be off and we could be getting quite a sizable fee for him if the uh, sporting director at Utrecht is anything to go by. Apparently, Celtic are looking for a fee around £4.5 million for Barkas, which is being pursued by many clubs, according to him. Um, but can Utrecht afford it? Will he be going back to the club he currently sits on loan at? We don't know yet. I just need to correct myself for a moment. I said the sporting director a moment ago is actually the owner of Utrecht who came out uh, and provided comments into Barkas's future. So this is what the owner had to say, and I'll give an attempt at his name as it's on screen screen here maybe Franz van Schummeren he came out and said as a club we're doing everything we can to keep Vasilis Barkas here but it is a difficult issue not least because there are now other clubs also interested after his successful season fair play to Barkas good on you big man I've supported him I have as, as much grief as we've all gave him and for as bad as he was I've always supported them. I've always wanted them to pull it back and do well. Whether it was at Celtic or not, I'm happy for him. Because that season could have been a killer. And it would have been a shame to watch a guy go down the pan like that and just have his career finished right in front of him during a worldwide pandemic. 
but he's pulled it back really well. Utrecht are on course to maybe get European football next season, and he's been one of the main reasons for it. He's had a tremendous campaign with the Dutch side, uh, and he's attracted interest from other sides. Celtic apparently wanting four and a half million pounds, I believe, as with the numbers being thrown about in, in the article. Um, which is what we paid six million for him, did we not? So yeah, interestingly enough, in the article that Football Scotland have published, they said that we got him for four and a half million. But correct me if I'm wrong, did we not pay six? I thought it was five to six million, or is that with add-ons and everything else? I'm I'm not entirely sure. I have to go back and look it up. But anyway, um, yeah, he's going to be off in the summer. That's almost confirmed now. Celtic, let's be real, and this is where I'm going to talk a wee bit openly and honestly, and and maybe not to your liking a little bit. We all know he's not going to stay, and we don't want him to stay. But Celtic should cut the losses and take what they can get. There's no point in being picky about this. Yeah, try and recoup as much of the loss as we can. Absolutely, I'm not arguing that point. But just let them go. Just take whatever we can get. Because there's no point in keeping them here. He's sitting on the bench, doing nothing, waiting for a contract to expire and then make absolutely nothing. Um, we should just let them go. So whatever Utrecht or any of these clubs come in with, hopefully a couple of million quid, um, we can hopefully make some, some money back and just move on from the whole saga altogether. But he's done well at Utrecht, so fair play to him. Um, yeah. I wonder what all the fine details are in terms of prices and matching it and who's in and what. We'll, we'll wait and see. But Barky, yeah. It's always nice to get an opportunity to talk about you, big man. And that's it. That's it for today. There's been a couple of other wee kind of minor stories floating around the internet, um, including uh, David Webb this morning on TalkSport. You've probably read some articles on it. Um, but I don't want to drag this video on too long. We've got the main beef out of the way. We'll be back all week. We'll have a podcast and such anyway. So we'll talk about everything as it comes. But I, who's all got to Japan then? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.